Hey guys, this is Allie with Tip B at iMuggle on Twitter, and today we are going to look at tweetings for iPad. Um, this client currently comes for iPad, iPhone, and uh, the Mac platform, but today we're just going to look at the iPad version. Along the bottom, you'll see that there's some things that should look really familiar to you if you are familiar with Tweety, or which is now Twitter for iPhone. Um, I kind of like this aspect because it's something that's very familiar for a lot of users. Um, you've got your tweets, your at replies, everything here along the bottom. Um, up in the corner you've got a checkbox so you can mark each section. So say I wanted to mark that my timeline was all red. I can go up here, click that checkbox, and then it marks them as red. Which is nice instead of having to scroll through them. Um, up here you've got a search feature which you can use to search nearby users, search for users, um, etc. All those fun things. Um, this little lightning bolt is a quick post bar. So you can type a quick tweet. And apparently the iPad does not know TIPB. It's kind of funny, my iPhone actually capitalizes TIPB the correct way now. Even my iPhone 4 does already. Um, and then you can just post that. And I like how it shows a little status bar right there. So, you know, you can see as your tweets fill up. Which is kind of cool. Um, if you want to post a picture or do something that's other than just a short text post you can go into compose right here and it brings up all your little options which include um, your location you can shrink your text or your links um, your photo library um, scheduled and schedule I'm not too sure what that does oh if you schedule tweets or you know tweet for later um, your contacts, hashtags, um, you can put what you're currently playing. Obviously, it's going to give me an error because I don't have anything playing. But um, you've got a draft menu here, so you can see drafts that you have. Um, Facebook Connect. Um, you can delete tweets right there. Um, let's close out of this. Here's something I really like, too. If you click, like, okay, I follow Ellen DeGeneres. Don't judge me. Um click that and it brings up a little quick thing so I can reply to Ellen or whoever um, let's find someone else who has a lot of conversations or who has a lot of late at replies let's look at Jim here he's always got lots of conversations going um, you'll see here combined timelines which is very 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 similar to what you see whoa what did I just do um, there we go it's very, it's very similar to like Simply Tweet and um, Twitbird Pro, how they have conversation views, but it's a complete combined timeline. Timeline. So say, I don't know, this one right here, Tusca30 asked Jim a question about an iPhone that he didn't know. Maybe he retweeted that and tagged me, and I have no idea what he's talking about. So I can go into his thing with Simply Tweet and click. And it brings up their combined timeline so I can see what they were talking about and why he tagged me. Which I think is kind of cool because conversation view only picks up on what you and another person at replied back and forth. And sometimes they're kind of hit or miss, but this just completely combines the timelines. Which I think is really cool because it's a lot more intuitive and you don't miss things that way. Um, besides that... Let's see what else we have down here. You've got your retweets, favorites, normal stuff. This also offers the pull to refresh, too. So you can do that with tweetings as well. Um, let's go into settings and see what they have there. Um, there it is. Okay, you've got your proxies, your basic settings, auto-update, all that fun stuff. At the very bottom, you'll notice, you have push notifications. I tested it against Boxcar. It matches up pretty nicely. Um, I've got a couple sounds you can choose from. I'm assuming my volume is way down. Um, apparently they don't want to work on here right now. But um, badge alerts, sound alerts, text alerts, um, whatever you want to turn on. You've also got themes. 
Where's my theme? All right, well, I lied. The themes might be the iPhone only version. Yeah, I'm thinking that's the case, which we'll look at later too in a different review. But um, yeah, overall, I would definitely give uh, Tweetings a thumbs up. Developer's very responsive, um, helps people with issues. I've been in contact with him a couple times, seems like a nice guy. Um, I'd highly recommend it if you're tired of your current Twitter client or you're like me and have Twitter ADD. Uh, I have no problem recommending this client. If you guys have questions, comments, um, oh, and look, we get a Twitter fail right before the end of the video. I'm going to assume that's probably Twitter. But, um, yeah, questions, comments, concerns, if you've used this app, um, post your thoughts on it in the comments or the forums. Thanks, guys.